Good afternoon, this is Eric Meeks with Remax Desert Properties and right now we're looking at a home on Laura Drive in Tri Palms Mobile Home Estates, this in Thousand Palms. And I really like this home. It's uh, just under uh, 250,000, it's $249,000. It's a two bedroom, two bath, uh, just shy of 1,400 square feet. And uh, we're gonna walk through, but I always like to start with a quick pan of the neighborhood. Now, in, within Tri Palms Mobile Homes Estates, I'll tell you, this is a very nice section. Uh, these owners all around here are very conscientious of maintaining their homes. They're all well painted. Uh, they're somewhat newer, okay, probably a lot of these in the 1980s that were added in this section. And as you can see, landscaping is well maintained. Not a lot of parking on the street. The cars are decent around here. So let's walk inside. Right in here is a semi-private parking space. It's totally owned by the owner of this home. And you end up with gates behind which that you can close it's covered parking here and it's mostly enclosed so if you're looking to leave a vehicle okay in this area this is where you would do it okay and you would come back and your car might be dusty you know after a few months of being there but otherwise it's going to be unscathed behind this short little gate which is excellent if you have a uh, a little dog of some type so that you can keep it enclosed okay you have a nice outdoor sitting area now this furniture is probably not staying. The uh, listing does say partially furnished and talking with the uh, seller a few minutes ago, it seems like it's gonna be mostly unfurnished. So I'm not promising any of this furniture, but it's a nice covered patio. Again, mostly shaded, well landscaped around it, could easily be made comfortable with your own furniture of your own choosing, a barbecue of your own to put out here, access from the den, and we're gonna go inside right now and take a look at the living room. So let's do that. We're gonna go inside here through the front door. As we come inside, you've got pretty good space in the room. There's a nice uh, laminate wood flooring that's in here. Nice windows bring in light. They're shaded somewhat, if you'll notice. You have like uh, semi-permeating um, awnings there where it's, um, I don't know what you call that, strips of aluminum that's done in a awning fashion. But what it allows is a muted light to come into the room in a nice high ceiling that's probably a nine foot peak up there, might hit 10, but probably nine, with a central beam, which is where the two sections of this double wide mobile home come together. Manufactured home, excuse me. But um, I hear that one of the sofas may stay in that chair there. But other than that, um, it did not seem to be indicating that everything is going. This may be a built-in, though. I think this is. Yeah, that's connected. Okay, up at the wall. So that hutch would be staying, okay, for somebody's china cabinet. And as you can see, the uh, wood flooring is here. And then we break into a, uh, a tile floor. Now let's go off to the right. We have the laundry room, and it is a decent sized room. So you've got some storage in here. You've got access to it from the guest bedroom. We've got linen closets and broom storage closets and um, a coat closet or something over there. That's a doorway to the back side of the home where there's a nice driveway, as you'll see the uh, golf cart garage that we have, and you would have access to the uh, northern side of the home. As we come here into the living room, okay, we have an area with just some additional pantry storage, a nice island in the middle. As you can see, there's drawers that go along with that, and then the main kitchen area. A couple of lights coming. I'm going to back up so you can get this entire view nicely. That's a good view of the kitchen, okay, so you can see how it all fits together. And then as we walk forward, you've got a double sink, okay. Oh, one of those. Always like that. Okay, a little view out here to uh, the driveway and your landscaping area. Gas, oven and stove. Room for a double door fridge. That one even has the, uh, the water and ice dispenser on it. And this is the true pantry. Good size on that. Plenty of room for your Hobarts and your mixers and your Keurig coffee, or they've got one here on the counter showing you how you can do that with a couple of plug-ins scattered around. So you've got plenty of counter space, plenty of storage space. It's a nice kitchen.
and the island here so you could sit out and if you wanted to be able to watch TV or something catch your uh, daytime talk shows or whatever it is that you enjoy the evening news or your favorite Netflix show that could be done this is a small den right off of the kitchen area next to that we have a guest bedroom it is carpet in here that is a queen size bed and you have double closet doors over here sliding doors I can tell so that's probably eight feet of closet at least going in there usually we recess into the walls on each side might actually be ten you have enough room for a small end table over on this side here a uh, tall lamp over on the left side so you have plenty of room to get in and out of bed for two people uh, mirror is hung a little bit low I would imagine that uh, um, the person who stood here is a little shorter than me I'm 5'8 oh there I am that very handsome guy and as you can see here we go into the bathroom that's adjacent to the laundry room and we have a um, a large single vanity plenty of room on each side for uh, uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes and body deodorant all that stuff that you may need from time to time some lights over the top okay a couple of wall uh, uh, wall artwork that wasn't what I was looking for but uh, then a shower here a step in all in one piece fiberglass shower looks nice and clean functional okay the uh, handheld shower head there on it that's a decent shower let's come back out here you can see out the view you're looking at a neighbor's fence enclosing their own patio on that side there there was a driveway over there going to the uh, the neighbors there is a home on the back side of this one here and then we come into the master bedroom muted light again because of the overhang you do get the window but because of the overhang out there the sun never really hits the windows that comes in it'll always be in shade uh, good looking guys following us around still you have a closet here actually i think the other closet was a little bit but well this is deep might have been a hair bigger but uh pretty comparable plenty big enough for two people to squeeze their stuff in there or lots of room for one person depending on what you're looking to do in the bathroom uh, we have returned to the wood floors a single vanity sink with a uh, triple mirrored uh, medicine cabinet okay and what i call the hollywood lights up over the top okay you have a window in here for ventilation there's an air conditioning vent so i don't think there is an electric uh, vent in this room you got a toilet area a little more modern shower it's taller i noticed this one here is like an extra six inches tall so if you had a tall man or a woman in here who wanted to do it and you do get a tub on this one and that's a decent sized tub okay that's not the smallest model on that there so if somebody wanted to take a bath you could do it in plenty of room to stack up your uh, hair shampoo or loofah or whatever it is that you enjoy while you're showering and then i believe this is going to be an additional cl well, additional closet i was going to say linen closet but i would say that's more of a regular closet so if one spouse needed more room um, or if you had extra toiletries that you would need to store you have it in there ceiling fan in here could not get the light to work that may be working it might just be me and um let's go out here and explore the outside we're at, uh, almost nine minutes in i try to keep these to 10 so we may run a minute or two over as we go out keep in mind here in tri palms you do get golf included with your hoa um, i'm not sure if there's a little cart fee or something with that it's a good question that we may have for somebody um, um, they do weekly dinners uh, there's events here and uh, uh, committees and uh, activities and sorts of stuff storage uh, uh a storage shed I, I should say there a uh, little outdoor storage area behind that fence i believe behind here we may find stuff like hot water here heater air conditioning items like that as we look into this garage okay the golf cart does not go with this home so let's be clear about that but as you can see there's plenty of room for the golf cart and i believe this garage could even hold like a uh an mg midget you know it could do something like th that size of car maybe a chevy volt okay so uh, one of the uh, ultra small cars or comfortably fit a golf cart 
Uh, nice tools that are in here and a tool bench, room for an additional fridge. You've got decent lighting in here. Okay, for it and more storage area. And then that driveway goes off. Let's do this. This driveway actually, you see that crack in the cement there? I believe that is the property line and it continues out this way, which is just wide enough to drive the golf cart down if you did get in a spat with your neighbor. But I would doubt it if your neighbor who parks over here behind you, okay, would ever fight you just driving your golf cart on and off the property this way. Okay, um, while we're here, I'll show you the air conditioner. It's not new, it's an older air conditioner, but uh, I've definitely seen worse. It does look functional and I bet it would survive an inspection. So uh, you may want to uh, improve that at some point in the future. See if I can get that label on there. Okay. You may need to inspect that at some point in the future. Oh, that's behind that little area. Okay, just show you where they were storing some things. So there you have it. Um, let's go inside. I think we need to figure out somewhere to finish this up. $249,000, a very good price on this quality of living and what I would say this quality of home. So let's call it quits here. This is as good a place as any. You can enjoy the indoor-outdoor lifestyle here in Tri Palms with this uh, mobile home, manufactured home. If that was of something of interest to you, I would love to hear from you. My name is Eric Meeks with Remax Desert Properties. Thank you very much for your time.